and welcome back. And if you've been joining us in this video series on Power of Virtual Agents, then hopefully you've learned a lot about how to get started with the tool. That's really our goal is just to give you a beginner set of lessons on how to get started with Power of Virtual Agents. Now, as you get started by creating your chatbot, one of your steps that you will obviously do as you move along through the life cycle is publish your chatbot. By publishing your chatbot, it allows you to be able to share it with others, allow others to test it out, give you feedback, and then, of course, eventually you're going to publish it to a point where you can embed it in on your website or embed it in on Microsoft Teams or Facebook or whatever it may be. So today, in this very short video, what I'd like to do is fill you in on how you can take a chatbot that you've designed and share it with others. So that's really going to be our main focus in today's lesson. So let's go ahead and hop over to my screen. So that way we can walk you through it. This is a very short video today, but it gives you that guidance that you need on knowing where to go to publish your solutions. So this is the chatbot that we have been creating through the previous videos that we have had. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and publish, which you can find on the left-hand side, where you're going to publish your solution. So we're going to go ahead and select the publish option right here. And by selecting publish, we can choose the option very clearly on the top here to go ahead and publish. Now you'll also notice there's uh, areas where you can optimize your bot for certain types of channels, whether that be something like Omnichannel and Microsoft Dynamics, or whether it be Facebook or Skype or Teams or Slack or whatever it may be, you'll notice there are many different options here as far as where you can uh, optimize your solutions for. But for the time being, let's just publish this, be able to view it on a demo website, so that way we can share it with others and get feedback because likely you'll have several revisions of the chatbots that you create. So we're gonna go ahead and select the publish option and we'll tell Power Virtual Agents that we do wanna publish our solution here. And it's gonna take a few moments here, but once it's done publishing our solution, we'll then be able to view it from our demo site. So there's actually a demo website that's created for you right here. And by selecting the demo website, you can view from a web browser and you can even share to your other users this demo site that allows your uh, chatbot to be tested, to validate that it's returning back results that your, your, maybe your boss anticipates it should. And so the demo website is a great place to go to share your solutions with others to validate that it's working properly. So what I would do here is I would select the demo website and this is gonna launch the demo website for me. And you can see on the right hand side, this is our chatbot. Let me take myself off screen for a moment. But we can see this is the demo site that we can use to actually be able to test out our chatbot and validate that it's working the way that we think it should be working. So if we say hello, you can see we get this interaction and we can say, uh, I want to return an item. And based on the way that we ask, and you can see here I happen to ask something that didn't get any relevant results returned back, but you can see this is the way of testing things out. This is what you would share with others to be able to validate that things are working the way they should be working with inside your chatbot. That's really it. It's a simple process here. It's not very difficult to make work. But the big thing here is you can now have this available to share with others and they can test out and validate that your chatbot is doing what you think it should be doing. Now, I mentioned the idea that you're likely in step one of multiple revisions of your chatbot. This is where you're going to start by getting feedback from your other users, validating that it's returning back the results you anticipate it should be returning back before you go embed it into whatever the final step of your chatbot is. You'll also be able to monitor the usage. That'll be a future video where you can monitor the usage of your chatbots to validate that it's getting results uh, correctly returned back and that your questions that your users are asking are actually getting answered. So we'll take a look at that in the monitoring section in a future video. But for today's very short video, you have seen where you can publish your solution once you create it. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to having some additional videos on Power Virtual Agents in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you.